Now, Natalie is preparing to work with a child examinee. Marcus is a five and a half year old boy who has a diagnosis of Kabuki syndrome, which is a rare multiple anomaly syndrome of genetic origin. Kabuki syndrome affects Marcus's speech, motor development, cognition, health, and activities for daily living. As a result of the condition, he is also medically fragile with a serious heart defect, has an underdeveloped cerebellum, and problems with digestion, as well as a history of fevers, pneumonia, croup, otitis media, seizures, a benign tumor, and a blood disorder. Thank you, Marcus. Marcus was a quiet infant and did not babble. He said his first word more at 23 months and walked independently at 27 months. What's in the bag? Took my bag. Marcus has received physical therapy since he was one month old, and he has received speech therapy, occupational therapy, and special instruction since he was 13 months. He graduated from early intervention at the age of two years, nine months, has been in preschool special education since that time, and is about to enter kindergarten, where he will receive some special services. Initially, Marcus's speech therapy focused on helping him to become a safe eater, since he was recovering from failure to thrive and suffered from severe reflux. Find other pizza. You found another piece of pizza. Marcus's speech sound repertoire has included non-speech sounds such as pops and clicks ever since he added consonants other than M at about the age of 36 months. He continues to substitute a clicking sound for K and hard G at times. Sprinkles? How did you know that was my favorite? During filming today is the first day that Marcus has produced a K sound in words. Hi, my name is Natalie. I'm Elise. Elise is a college student majoring in musical theater who requested a communication evaluation because she fears that problems she's experiencing with her voice may hinder success in her career. I've noticed that I can't sustain long singing notes as long as I used to be able to and it just doesn't sound as clear and nice as it used to. Well, we'll be looking at voice as a part of our oral facial exam. The oral facial inspection that you will see is one part of her communication evaluation is to see if there's any physical cause for any of your speech symptoms. So none of the procedures I'll be doing today should be painful or harmful. And if I find anything of note, then I might refer you to a specialist for further evaluation. Do you have any questions before we get started? Okay, then let's go ahead. 